Okay, so really fun. I was hoping I was gonna get off early today so I can go to a concert in Oregon, but apparently this fire decided to start up over here and it was hidden by these trees. So that was really cool. So now air attack has been reporting it and I think my coordinates are pretty good. I can't really see the bottom of it. They gave an update to it as of, uh, originally it was a half acre to one acre. Now it's two to three. So that thing's really chugging along right now. I'm hoping that they can get a bucket helicopter on it, get a good dousing of water because there aren't any structures over there. But I can't believe that this thing has been chugging along. It's probably going for like the past half hour, but I couldn't see it because these trees were in the way. I'm very mad at myself, but also frustrated that I might not get to go to my concert. Hey, Ronnie, just looking for your... So it's my third dip at Buckhorn this weekend, my last day here, and then tomorrow I go over to Collins Baldy, but just wanted to record a little bit because I, uh, I got that fire put in yesterday. I got all those videos of the, the planes dropping on it and just wanted to give an update. So this is the paperwork that we fill out for it and basically fill out whatever you can at first and then update it as you go along. Where is it at? So I am over here, and that incident was right down here. That's where I originally put it, and they, they said it was closer to the line down here, and they could reach it from that access road, but 
Yeah, the planes were saying that it was um, up to five acres, but when the crews got to work on it, they said that it only got up to about acre and a half, but still pretty good size. I don't know if there's any latent smoke that's actually rising from it or if that's just the haze, but they've already got the the crews out on it this morning, so yeah. Don't think it's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. It was a holdover from uh from 3 days ago from the lightning storm that we had. It wasn't even the recent ones, but it had been that long. It was a big old cluster that hit right over that ridge and one of them got enough heat to keep boiling through the water it was soaked up in the tree and then eventually broke out but yeah just another day up here might see another lightning fire eventually but not expecting too much